Hello friends, welcome to Vedic Academy. And here in this section, we are going to deal with an example on trigonometric ratios of multiple and submultiple angles. So here, the given example is if sine alpha is equal to three by five, where pi by two is less than alpha less than pi, then evaluate the value of cos three alpha and tan two alpha. So here, given that pi by two is less than alpha less than pi. So that implies we can say that alpha belongs to second quadrant, and then given sine alpha is equal to three by five. So first, let us consider a right angle triangle here, and according to the definition of sine alpha, which is opposite by hypotenuse. So here there is an angle alpha, and the opposite side is three, whereas hypotenuse side is five. So in order to find, let us consider the adjacent side as P, and then using Pythagoras theorem, we can find the value of adjacent side. That is, p square is equal to five square, which is hypotenuse square minus opposite square, which is three square here. So that implies we can write p equal to under root five square minus three square, which is twenty-five minus nine here. So that implies we get here p equal to under root sixteen, and the square root of sixteen is four. So hence we can see that adjacent side p is equal to four, and alpha lies in second quadrant. So hence we can say that cos alpha and tan alpha are negative in second quadrant. And now let us find the value of cos alpha. As cos alpha is negative, we get here minus of adjacent side that is four divided by hypotenuse five. So we get here minus four by five as the value of cos alpha. And now let us find the value of tan alpha, which will be equal to opposite side by adjacent side. So here tan alpha is negative, so we get here minus of Opposite side, which is three, divided by adjacent side, which is four. So we get here minus three by four as the value of tan alpha. And now let us evaluate the value of cos three alpha. So here, by using the formula of multiple angle, which is cos three a is equal to four cos cube a minus three cos a. So by using this formula of cos three a, we can evaluate the value of cos three alpha here. So here, the value of cos three alpha can be written as four cos cube alpha minus three cos alpha. And now let us name the equations one and two for the values of cos alpha and tan alpha. So here, from equation one, we can substitute the value of cos alpha here. So by substituting, we get four into cos cube alpha, that is minus four by five whole cube, minus. Three cos alpha, so minus three into the value of cos alpha, which is minus four by five. And now let us simplify. So here we get four into minus four cube, which will be minus sixty four divided by five cube, which is one twenty five, minus three into minus four by five will be equal to plus four into three, which is twelve divided by five. And now let us write the LCM of both the terms, which is one twenty five here. So here we get four into minus sixty four, which is Minus two fifty six plus, and here we get twelve into twenty five as the LCM is one twenty five. So that implies we get here minus two fifty six plus twelve into twenty five, which is three hundred divided by one twenty five. And by subtracting two fifty six from three hundred, so we get forty four divided by one twenty five as the value of cos three alpha. And now let us evaluate the value for tan two alpha. So here by using the formula. Of a multiple angle that is tan two a is equal to two tan a by one minus tan square a. So by using this formula, we can evaluate the value of tan two alpha by substituting the value of tan alpha from equation two. So let us substitute the value of tan alpha here. So we get two into minus three by four divided by one minus tan square alpha that is three by four whole square. So that implies here we get two into minus three, which is minus six divided by four, whole divided by, and here LCM will be sixteen. So here in the numerator we get sixteen minus three square, which is nine divided by four square, which is sixteen. So that implies here we get minus six by four divided by sixteen minus nine, which is seven divided by sixteen. So that implies we get here minus six by four into the reciprocal of the denominator, which will be sixteen by seven here. And here, by simplifying, four one time is four, and four four times is sixteen. So here, by multiplying minus six into four, we get minus twenty four divided by seven. So hence, the value of tan two alpha is equal to minus twenty four by seven. And make a note of these formulas. 
that is cos 3a is equal to 4 cos cube a minus 3 cos a and the formula for tan 2a which is 2 tan a by 1 minus tan square a. So learn these formulas of multiple angles as these formulas are very useful in solving examples in further videos. Hope you understood the concept. Refer to more videos on trigonometry on our website vdchacademy.com. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.